fight round until one fighter is victorious, the other beaten into submission. These are the sports of men. But today we'll meet women, beautiful women, who have crossed over into the world of boxing and wrestling. And they've done it with their own sense of style, grace, and even fashion. Welcome first, from Plymouth, Massachusetts, weighing in at 115 pounds, boxer Sugar Ray Renee. Sugar Ray. Hey, Sugar Ray. From the Hoosier State, Indiana, weighing in at 108 pounds, boxer Sherry Amor. Sherry Amor. Okay. From the white sand beaches of Huntington Beach, California, welcome at 105 pounds, boxer Anna the Banshee Capri. The Banshee Capri. All right. Oh, yes, a soldier. From the Potato State, Iowa, welcome wrestler Chris Lady Zora Paris. Lady Zora Paris. Lady Zora carves the Z with her blade. From Gloucester, Massachusetts, welcome former Miami Dolphins cheerleader Taylor Scott. All right, Taylor. Look. Hey, hey, thank you. Whoa. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, welcome wrestler and the naughty nurse Jensen. The naughty nurse Jensen. Oh, come here, you naughty thing. All right. Now, we'll find out why these ladies have what it takes to box and wrestle and why they will do almost anything to win. We'll hear stories and see them fight and wrestle right here in our own studio ring. Lady boxers and mud wrestlers, their real lives, the beast and the beauties. That's our focus on this edition of Geraldo. <laughs> if we get through it. Every night all across this country, hundreds of red-blooded Americans, thousands, tens of thousands, jam themselves into clubs that specialize in what these ladies do in female boxing and mud wrestling. And these aren't just panting men looking for an excuse to see some flesh, although there are those. Uh, there are also husbands and wives and even single women in the audience. It is a unique combination of both sex and violence. And after all, what's television about, at least at prime time? Women who are truly the beast in the beauty, blazing a new frontier in women's sports. Lady baseball leagues pack them in from coast to coast. Even the bone-jarring sport of football had to make way for the ladies. They took Sports the have been making way for the ladies since ladies. most of us can remember. With the roller derby, in which she was governed by the same rough-and-tumble rules as the men, the fantastic female became a million-dollar sports attraction. All sports require strength, coordination, a sense of daring do, and in the early days, the will to boldly go where no woman had gone before. There have been great moments for women in sports, and of course, great moments for women in history. But what you're about to see cannot be counted among them. In the offbeat tradition of women doing silly things in public, sometimes silly sexual things in public, exhibition sports, if you will, will bring you an update. From table dancing in Texas, to oil wrestling in California, Sports exhibitionists dance to the beat of more modern tastes for glamour and higher standards of fitness, among other things. Men love female combat. It's just, it's, uh, they'd like to see women fight and rip each other's hair out. <laughs> they're screaming, they're yelling, they're going crazy out there. It's true all over where fans are flocking to see female combat of every possible description. Oh, it looks brutal. <laughs> Let me reintroduce our lady boxers and wrestlers once again. This is Anna the Banshee Capri. She's a boxer. You'll see her in action soon. This is the wrestler Chris Lady Zora Capri. Another wrestler, Taylor Scott. And our final wrestler, Anne the Naughty Nurse Jensen. And in our first Exhibition bout of the season. <laughs> uh, this is Anne... Sugar Ray Renee. Right, right. I knew I had that. 
Sugar Ray Renee. How about that? And her opponent in this exhibition bout, Sherry Amour. Wait, wait, come here. Before you put the gloves on, I want to, I want to talk to both of you about this. Both. Now, uh, maybe I face this way. Really now, how did you all get into this? Wait, stand right here so the camera can see you. Um, well, I was on vacation in Fort Lauderdale, and I ran into Michael, and he gave me one of his cards. And That's the me. owner of the place? Uh -huh, Michael Peters, and he owns the dollhouse and pure platinum and solid gold, and we boxed in all those places. And he gave me his card and told me to go to the dollhouse, and I tried out, and I started boxing. But did it ever strike you as a bit unusual as a pastime for a lady? I had never heard of it. I mean, I was a secretary before I did this, so it was a change of pace, but unusual, it's, it's exciting. It's, um... You meet, you get a lot of experience, a lot of you meet a lot of different people. But aren't they like the worst kind of people? I mean, the guys at ringside, aren't they? Like... <laughs> no, um, I've met quite a few people that have got me parts in commercials, um, movies, you know, posters, postcards, all kinds of things. I've met a lot of nice people. Yeah, look in, look into that camera there. Mm -hmm. Get a, get a close up shot. Uh, these are very unusual eyes. One is brown and the other one is green. I'm, I, I find myself. <laughs> Bouncing back and forth there. <laughs> um, how was it when you started, though? I mean, did you do well? Um, well, <laughs> not really. Um, well, this girl kind of beat me up for a couple weeks. <laughs> but um, after I got into training more, you know, got more training, I did, um, I got really well. I, how old are you? I'm 20. And how much can you make doing this? Um, a lot. <laughs> we'll get more specific on that later. Now, what about you? What's the course that led you to this rather bizarre, if funny, occupation? Well, I started four years ago. I was out in L.A. and I met Dennis Morgan. And he sent me down to Florida from Massachusetts. Dennis, our ring announcer. Dennis, our ring announcer. And he sent me down to Massachusetts, down from Massachusetts to Florida. And I tried out and I got accepted. And I stayed down there for the past four years. I've been doing it at the Knockout Saloon. But were you into modeling or nude modeling or anything like that before? Four years ago, I came right out of high school, and I am now seriously into modeling and acting. I've somewhat retired in the past year to do some, you know, feature films and stuff. All these people I've met through coming in to see the show. I've done Miami Vice. I've done... You've done Miami Vice? Yeah, I did a boxing segment. I met Don at his wedding scene, and he asked me what I did for a living, and I said I was a foxy boxer. Two weeks later, I was on the show, so... It's being a foxy boxer. Being a foxy boxer, it's opened up a lot of doors for me as far as movies and TV go. Now, how serious, let's put the gloves on. How serious is this combat? I mean, do you really hurt each other? Not with these clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I would if I fought her with a hammer. <laughs> oh, don't, don't use that. That's a, that's a little too serious. Okay, our fight announcer is boxing and wrestling MC Dennis Morgan, the man who discovered her. Our referee, Bob Bianco. I'm going to get out of the uh, ring here. Okay, Dennis, take it away. Welcome to New York. How are how are you doing out there? Feeling good? Right. Yes, absolutely. If you've ever seen... If you've never seen a female fighting competition, you better get ready, you better get set. You're going to see the most exciting female competition you have ever seen in your lives. How many people have ever seen female boxers? Yeah! yeah. Well, we've got a couple of perverts right up there. Got a the couple front. perverts up front. That always happens, all right? <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. Gentlemen, in the red corner. I'm not going to box her. <laughs> in the red corner, at five foot six inches tall. I'll tell you what, it's so hard to find a good woman. Gentlemen, we found one right here. How about a nice big round of applause? Our French maid, Sherry Amour! Sherry Amour! She says she's 5'8", Dennis. She's 5'8"? 5'8". I don't know her, uh, her height, her measurements I'm more interested in. At 5 foot 8 inches tall, in the blue corner, she has all the tools to do the job, guys. A nice big round of applause for Construction Cutie! I'm ready if you are. Ladies, you ready? Ref, ready. give them the rules. Give them the rules. Ref. Well, let me say this. There are no rules in Foxy Boxing. It's a little bit of everything, and I'll tell you what, you're going to see that all right now. Are we ready, referee? We are ready. Hold on. Yeah. Three, two, one, and they're boxing. There they go. 
All right, very first round comes a lot of action in the first round. Oh, God. And the audience Jesus. is oh, oh, God. What did you think of that? I want to know when I can get started. <laughs> you liked it? Yeah, I didn't think they were really going to beat each other. <laughs> what about you? If my mother was here, she would have dropped dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I think I did. I had no... It's violent. I mean, this is real. Sure is. <laughs> I, but I, I had no... I mean, did you break a nail? <laughs> <laughs> she did, I didn't. Yeah, just one, though. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is a, a, a dangerous profession. I, had, I thought it was just fun. It's a lot of training, a lot of work. But uh, you must get hurt like real fighters. I mean, yeah. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Occasionally. I mean, I can understand, you know, there's a certain scripted aspect to it. I mean, you take the gloves off and you start scrambling, but it really seemed as if you got angry there when that started. Did you? Did you lose your yeah. temper? Yeah, well, she hit me pretty hard, you know? <laughs> I got mad. <laughs> but uh, now, how long could you stay in a career like this? I've been doing it for about two years. And you've never broken your nose or any well, serious injury? Well, actually... <laughs> I did fracture my nose one time. Did I do it? No, it wasn't you. <laughs> Are you friends? I mean, can you be friends now? Yeah, out of the ring. You can? Yeah. Golly. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. But do your audiences drive you to levels of violence that maybe you didn't expect to reach? I mean, do they goad you on? I really think that when the crowd is cheering and there's a lot of noise and the music's real loud, we, we box to music. And when the crowd's cheering and the music's real loud and RMC's out there, and, you know, hooting and hollering for us, it, it gets you get energy. You right become here. caught up in the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just want to, you just want to really go for it. And you want to win. <laughs> you got this crowd on this side over going, yeah, you know, and it makes you want to win. What's your record, Lieutenant? My record. <laughs> I'm an officer in search of a gentleman. <laughs> um, well, actually, I've been knocked out twice in the last four and a half years of my boxing career. Really knocked out? Cold. Yep, cold. Once in, um, we were doing a show at, uh, I believe it was the Dollhouse 3 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And um, she got me. You know, actually, I, was, I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. And it was, it was close to the beginning of my career <laughs> and uh club Oz. turn your back for a second and you're out but i'm not gonna let you get away with it today i right. have an exhibition about here but I, I agreed to that before i saw what this was all about I mean, you're gonna get it. <laughs> but what does your mother think about this i mean your, your parents so what? my mom thinks this is great my financial situation is excellent <laughs> I live in Fort Lauderdale, you spend it all at the dentist getting your teeth kept <laughs> <laughs> you moved really, you moved out. was like this when she was. <laughs> she's been to a few of the fights. Is that thinking. because of the physical aspect of it or because you're dancing, I mean, doing it nearly no, naked no, in front she, of No, no, this is a bikini. My mom doesn't mind that. I, it's the part of me getting hit. It looks so like I'm mm. getting hit so hard that she just, she panics and covers her eyes. <laughs> but what about your family? Well, my mom, um, first she thought I was crazy. You know, you're doing what? <laughs> you're going to be a female what? But um, once I showed her one of the tapes that we do, and um, she's like, you know, she wants to see it in person. She hasn't got to watch a live show because she's still in Indiana. But, I mean, she thinks it's great. But what would your old neighbors from your hometown in Indiana think if they saw you up there? Mm, I don't 
don't know. <laughs> like old neighbors and then old people neighbors. Or just the, the people who knew you when, when you were in high school. Well, and most people I knew, they know what I'm doing. And like, you know, most of the girls I know are like, gee, you know, can I do it? Can I do it too? Can Would, you get me a do job? Do you consider this part of the, like, the sex industry? No, this is, um, we're athletes, you know, we, uh, definitely athletes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I mean, like, like, an hour to two hours, four days, at least four, three, to, three or four days a week, if not five. That's like sometimes doing an six. hour of aerobics. Those of us who are round. training new girls, we're always, um, always finding new girls and, um, <clears throat> um, working out a lot throughout the week. A couple it's hours a day. New girls. <laughs> it's fun finding new girls. It's women's liberation. We've taken a sport, two sports that have been dominated by men for years, and, and we're doing it ourselves. But is it really? I mean, is aren't you aren't they? You think the sexual objects are there? Must be real. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a sport, but you know, they're not exactly wearing their robes. You know what? I'll tell you. I have something to tell you. I'm 23 years old. Um, I do this boxing show. I have for the last four and a half years. I'm a hairdresser out of, uh, out of uh, high school. I went to beauty college, um, met a friend who was, who was into the boxing. I have been all over the United States, Japan, Canada. I boxed the New York City Palladium three years ago. Um, I make great money, and I love this job. Well, did you ever fight <laughs> a real man? What's a real man? <laughs> She'll find out right after this break. <laughs> For free tickets to Geraldo, please write Geraldo, Times Square Station, Post Office Box 684, New York, New York, 10108. Please send a self-addressed stamped envelope or call 212-265-1283. Seriously, we gotta set some ground rules here. I don't wanna. You know, uh, thanks. thanks right. Okay, now what's uh, what's the rules? I mean, uh, the rules are there are no rules. Come on, no, yeah, no, no, no. no. Um, don't you get frightened before these things happen? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not afraid of you, Geraldo. I'm not afraid of this fight. What do you have against me? <laughs> Actually, Earl, this is going to further my acting career um, more so than this boxing show has ever, ever done. <laughs> yeah, she's using me. Stepping stone in the career. Oh, God. That's the way it used to be. But, yeah, you know, what, what do you think? What do you think? Do I have a shot at this? All right, I'm, I'm about, I'm about, ref, ref, ref. Now, uh, there's got to be some ground rules. I don't want her, like, hitting below the belt or busting my nose or anything. Anna, try not to hurt him too much, okay? Like you did the last three guys you fought. Hey, what do you mean? Anna, don't hurt him like you did the last three guys you fought, please. Uh, I don't. Wait a minute. Let me get some straight here. We don't fight guys. <laughs> we don't fight men. Oh. The boxing show is a uh, consist of women boxers. It's the uh, World Female Fighting Federation. Oh, so it's only the wrestlers that wrestle men? This is a special match. I'm getting out of here. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, oh, come here. Hold my mic here. Hold my mic. I'm ready. Right, I'm ready. 
Capri fighting uh, Geraldo, the hitman Rivera. Supposedly the real man she's been looking for all these years. All right, here we go, referee. I'm ready to get the ball. Here they go, out of the ring, out of, okay, here they go to the center of the ring, to the center of the ring, okay, left and right. The Banshee, is, the Banshee's got him in the corner, got him in the corner. He's protecting himself, not a lot of, not a lot of action from the Hitman, not a lot of action at all. It looks like he's uh, getting the best, uh-oh, he's got her in the corner now, got her in the corner, left and right, left and right, left and right, a, a left hand, a right hand, down he goes, down he goes, this could be it, this could be it, three, seven, Okay, welcome back. The uh, the real lives of female boxers and mud wrestlers. Our focus today, before we get into the mud wrestling, our audience has some questions. Go ahead. Um, I just want to say, I don't think this is exploitation. These are beautiful women who want to do this job, and they have every reason to do so. And anybody who says that, I think, is pretty jealous. And I'm... <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Do you agree? Do you agree with that? I disagree. I think it's definitely done to excite men and to make them come down and root for the women, and it's definitely social, sexually. Definitely. It's all for sex. Yeah. Sure. What do you think? I think you're exploiting the women. Who, me? No, somebody is. I think you're taking advantage of them. In what sense? They're nice looks, and you uh, capitalize on it. Well, are you enjoying yourself so far? Yes. <laughs> well, what about it? Respond to Taylor, what do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, we're all here of our own volition. We made our choice to do this. We're athletes. We train diligently, and uh, no one's exploiting us. We're here by choice. Now, Taylor, you were once a uh, Miami Dolphin, Dolphin cheerleader. But, now, but you have done some nude modeling. Yes, I have. Guys, 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 please. <laughs> so you you really feel yourself in the in the sex business, not the sport business. I, I don't refer to it as the sex business. I think it's uh, adult entertainment. I find beauty in, in uh, nude photography, and, and that's my opinion. And I w certainly wouldn't force my opinion on another individual. And I, I don't feel that I'm hurting myself or, or anyone else, and I, I'm happy. Do you have a husband or a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. How does he feel about he it? He loves it. He thinks really? it's beautiful. Yeah. He encourages it. <laughs> Is he a photographer? <laughs> What's your goal? I mean, what do you want to do? What's well, your direction? My aspirations are that I would be independent and, and comfortable in, in the line of work that I've chosen. Uh, it is lucrative, and I would hope that uh, my broker would invest my uh, income wisely, and later on in life, I'd be comfortable. How lucrative is it? Be specific. It's quite lucrative. I'd, I'd rather do this than be a doctor. They work really hard. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but Anna the Banshee broke her nail hitting me in the back of the head. I mean, it's dangerous. Work. I made enough money today to pay for it tomorrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I, I'd like to know how you guys could still be friends after fighting each other. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sherry Amour. Or, yeah. Well, not mm -hmm. all. We aren't always, but um. It's mostly when we get into the ring, then we're very competitive. I mean, we're, we're best of friends. We work out together, we train together. And when we step into that ring, then we're competing against each other. And we step out of the ring and we're friends again. Are these fights like professional wrestling? Remember when John Stossel from 2020 got smacked by the professional wrestler? So, but it's no. still true. Everybody knows no. that the results in professional wrestling are often predetermined, let's say. It's hard to choreograph a boxing match. Very hard. Yeah. It's all spontaneous. You just hit when... I mean, it's really hard to set it up. So it's is there a impossible. champion? 
No. Not a yeah, you, like you are. At least in your bat with A lot of people think they're champions. I just <laughs> like to say <laughs> that, um, I just like to say that Greg Luganis and Carl Lewis are every bit as sexy as males as they are as females, and no one yeah. seems to have a problem with that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Carl Lewis runs the 100 and, uh, and nine men point are, men nine seconds. Men are out seconds. there doing these wrestling shows. They're on television. They're Chippendales. 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 They're all doing it. I think the, the Chippendales okay. comparison is very apt. I mean, very much. It doesn't just. We don't just jump in the ring and box. We we dance with our fantasy costume and um and uh, and and pe uh, audience participation where they can come up and be a manager and, and we. I can't tell you how many. You know, girls give you a drink have. of water. We have so many girls that come up after the show. Where do I sign up? Mm -hmm. Where do I sign up? Who do I have to talk to to get into this? I want to do this. This is great. How'd you get this job? How'd you get this job? I want to know from all of you. Are you hands considered lethal weapon out in the street? Like if someone was to go up to you. <laughs> no, their bikinis are lethal. Yeah. Ladies or why mud wrestling? Why not? <laughs> it, it washes off. <laughs> it's, Be a little more expressive. Well, I do. I, I mud wrestle. I oil wrestle. I box. I've done all of them been doing it for about five years it's been a good really good experience for me I've been all over the United States I've been all over Canada been to Costa Rica I've been everywhere it's like paid vacation we meet exciting people like you yeah. Yeah. Paid paid vacation. Vacation. or Michael Peters the owner of the Beverly Hills knockouts you know, Michael. he manages and books these girls into clubs literally all over the world Michael, how many of the ladies do you have working with you as boxers or wrestlers? Well, it's not, it's not just myself. Uh, there's approximately 70 girls uh, either boxing or wrestling around the country. At this point in time, there's actually three troops that uh, we work in conjunction with. One uh, uh, with Gary Hendrickson out of California and then the grandfather of all of this who started it, the, the uh, great Hal Stone, who's working with uh, Sly Stallone's mother, Jackie uh, Stallone right now, uh, has a group and our group and we work uh, we're, we're, what we're attempting to do is put together the WFFF which is the World Female Fighting uh, Federation in which all of these uh, teams will inter, uh, interact and, and fight each other and we'll have belts and we'll develop our own Hulk Hogan's uh, and the like. Uh, do you hope to get on, on TV on a regular basis? Uh, we, we've just signed a contract in, in, uh, out of uh, South Florida in our knockout saloon uh, down there in the backside of Pure Platinum, which is a full-time wrestling boxing room where these ladies work as their home base. And we've just signed an uplink for a full-time TV program that will come out of their live. Now, your background, though, is in topless and bottomless dancing, right? Well, my background, actually, I have a master's degree from Cornell University in hotel restaurant administration. And <laughs> you have a minor in bottomless dancing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. College has gone to hell these guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have uh, the largest uh, uh, chain of adult uh, nightclubs in the country, yes. Well, then this is obviously in that genre, is it not? This is a, a little more uh, sanitized in a sense, but that's basically what it is, isn't it? We feel so. One of, the, one of the things that we're attempting to do by setting up the Beverly Hills Talent Management was to give uh, career opportunities to girls. We've got some 2,000 girls dancing around the country in our Dow House chain and Pure Platinum chain and Solid Gold chain, but that's, that's a dead-end career for sure. And it's, uh, a dead end. there's no question. I mean, once you reach a, a certain age and a certain physical limitation, uh, as all of us, we uh, find ourselves a little restricted in what we can do physically. But these kind of... I know, the band should just beat the hell. <laughs> <laughs> these kind of uh, uh, programs, the wrestling, the boxing, we have the California Dream Girls out of California, which is a dance troupe like the Chippendales, uh, can go out and do non-nude work where they can work in legitimate uh, places. We did uh, for Donald Trump uh, for the Tyson fight here a couple months ago. We were his guests and performed for a thousand of his preferred customers and friends. By the time Tyson's problems are over, these are probably going to be the people he's fighting. The naughty nurse, what did you do before you became a naughty nurse? I traveled nationwide working um, for a chemical company doing sales. Toxic chemicals? <laughs> no. Does it go in this brew? A cleaner, or? actually. I knocked on doors, door to door. Do you prefer this? Yeah. It's a lot funner, and you make a lot more money, and I like acting, and you put your own, your own little skit on, and it makes you feel good to get in the ring with somebody where their friends are there, and they're having fun, so you're getting paid to make someone else happy. All right, who are the volunteers for the first exhibition mud wrestling bout? 
All right, so it's Taylor and Lady Zora. You'll see them in that after this. Our focus is uh, female boxers and female mud wrestlers. Your question? Yeah, I want to know if any of you went to college, and do you regret, like, spending time at college and then going into something that's not related to any type of education? No, I think any type of education is beneficial. I did attend college for a year. I didn't graduate from college. I went out into the real world to make my fame and fortune. But, uh, no, education is uh, important to every aspect of your life. I may go back someday with the fortune that I've made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. Literally a fortune? <laughs> Literally. Literally. Uh, Literally. <laughs> Literally. Okay, I have a question. Uh, being that this is, from what this gentleman t says right here, going to be a big career thing, they're going to expand it, put on uh, worldwide TV and so on and so forth. Should I say nationwide TV? Um, are you going to be planning on making a career out of it? Or uh, do you have other ideas, other plans? I've chosen to um, go ahead and stay. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to get really big. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to keep on doing it. I have every intention of uh, someday opening my own salon with the money that I've saved, the money that I've made, doing this boxing show, going back to California eventually. and. Um, opening a hair salon somewhere on Rodeo Drive. I'm a hairdresser at home. Before I take the next question, I just want to explain these, uh, with the plastic bags that the first couple of rows are wearing. If you ever went to SeaWorld and, you know, the big whale that jumps and splatters the first couple of rows, these people will definitely get splattered, I am told. I've never seen mud wrestling. Uh, as, when the action progresses. Hi there, ladies. You all say that you're all athletes and you all train very well. With all the advancements made by, I consider, real women athletes, like Dave Zakaris, we're talking about like uh, Mary Lou Retton, etc. Flojo. Flojo, exactly. Yeah. These women are, I consider, real athletes and who have actually set trends in women's... Ex the big question is, don't you think you six girls are making a giant mockery of their efforts that they've done so far? Those women are athletes, and this is true. They're great. They're wonderful. Um, Flojo, she's, she's great. She's an athlete. I work out an hour a day. Um, That's to make the performance look better. Right, to make ourselves look better on stage. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm, as soon as this world uh, female uh, fighting federation all comes together, we're going to be, hopefully, not gold medals, but, um, Hopefully just as popular as those yeah, athletes. Belt holder. Yeah. We consider ourselves entertainers as well as athletes. As well as. Yeah. Definitely follow -up. entertainers. Follow-up. That's a follow-up. You've seen the presidential debate. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually believe that maybe your girls will actually perform well enough that you will be part of the 1992 Barcelona Olympics? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah right. I saw a Joe Piscopo ads, you know, uh, truck not. holding, the next yeah. event. Yeah, Absolutely mud wrestling. I'm not an, a, an Olympic okay. athlete. Quick. Um, I think anything men can do, women can do better, and you girls look absolutely great, and they look good afterwards, yeah. too. Thank you. All right, Dennis, set the stage for the exhibition. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, in the white, you know, this woman takes from the rich and okay. gives to the poor. She takes from the ones that have and gives the ones that have not. Not like that in a woman. Gentlemen, how about a nice big round of applause? And ladies, for Lady Zorro. <laughs> Lady Zorro in white. Former Miss Miami Dolphin cheerleader, gentlemen in the black. Have a nice big round of applause for Taylor Scott. All right, girls, kick your shoes off and take your positions. Now, uh, who thought of the mud? Where did the mud come from? Mm -hmm. The mud wrestling, ori the original uh, concept of mud wrestling. The original uh, concept of mud wrestling really was developed by Mr. Gary Hendrickson out of Hollywood, hey. California. Mm -hmm. uh, and that show is seven nights a week. Uh, 364 days a year at the Hollywood Tropicana. So what other substances do people wrestle in? Go ahead. Ladies. Well, they wrestle. Uh, don't start yet. Though. I have done videos. Uh, they wrestle in mud, spaghetti, spaghetti, jello, uh, pudding, uh, salad. Uh, we've wrestled in about everything imaginable, actually. Is that how's the mud? I mean, before you start, is the mud okay, Taylor? It's not like our normal. This is not the mud we normally use. All right, this is, is this, this isn't New York City mud. I uh, you, you know, unfortunately, it is New York City. Oh, mud. God, did they get this from Central Park? Uh, I don't know, but uh, we normally use a Cal California right. mineral silk. Okay, ref, here we go. Are you ready, girls? Here we go. Audience, are you ready? All right, here we go. 
three, two, one, and they're red flag. All right, here they go, squaring off with each other. Uh-oh, oh. with the legs, up she goes. Oh, oh yeah. Her back. All right, there they go. Okay, squaring off, not much action right here. Okay, there you go, take a flip throw over down. She goes, oh, almost down the ring. Um, oh, and oh. oh, there you go, on the back. Looks like she could have been hurt. Not much action. Oh, the back, across the ring. How about audience? Need some enthusiasm, audience. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, the quiet could be a pin 30 seconds ago. Looks like a dirty mess to me, a nangled, mangled pile of flesh. I can't believe it. 15 seconds left. Not much time. Here we go. Uh oh, over she goes. And down. Three, two, one. And that's it, referee. How about a big round of applause for the girls? Come on, guys. Come on. All right. You've seen it. We've seen it. And for some reason, I'm going to try it myself right after this break. Stay with us. For transcripts, please send three dollars to Journal Graphics, Araldo Transcripts, 267 Broadway, New York, New York, 10007, or call 212-227 Read. Our focus, female boxers and mud wrestlers, we have to declare a winner in that match. Uh, wait, come on now, Lady, uh, this is Lady Zora Bree first. Wait, hold, hold your applause. And this is uh, Taylor. What's your last name again, Taylor? Scott. Scott, okay. Uh, okay, by your applause, I want you to indicate who won the match. First, Lady Zora Paris. The cheerleader, Taylor Scott. Oh, 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 my, uh, oh, here, I think, oh, no, right now. I tie! Congratulations, congratulations. I couldn't help but notice two ladies sitting here in the front row ducking mud. As it <laughs> now, what do, you, what do you think of this exhibition? I think it's great fun, but I, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> but Taylor has offered to give you some pointers. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Maybe I can use them. <laughs> are you scandalized by this? No, I think the girls are great entertainers, and you choose your entertainment, and if you chose that sort of entertainment, it's great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. What would you say, though, if it were your daughter that had chosen the fence I'd have a few different words. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us why. Um, I guess... First of all, I value a college education first, and then uh, when you're older, choose. But in this sport, you should do your physical first, I guess. So, I, I guess that's... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but none of you have a, a lasting relationship, do you? I mean, isn't that one of the prices you pay? You mean our, our boyfriend? Yeah. Not. I my, my boyfriend, boyfriend just asked me to marry him. He did? Yes, he did. Congratulations. We can have the ceremony right now. <laughs> what does your boyfriend do to you? He owns a Volkswagen dealership in Statesville, North Carolina. So he's a real middle-of-the-road kind of guy. Quite. Isn't he scandalized by what you do there? No, he I mean, you, you can't look at yourself. I don't have a mirror. But I know. <laughs> I can imagine what I look like. <laughs> Terrific. I mean, this, this is... Uh... Well, see, that we're really not that vain, as, as some people may you know, have that opinion. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so how long do you figure you're going to do this thing? Uh, mud wrestling and boxing. If it keeps going bigger and if we do, uh, if we're successful with the WFFF, I'll go on and do it if I'm asked to. Do you think you'll be able to, after, you know, a life here in the mud, to sell Volkswagens in North Carolina? Why not? Do you think you'll be happy doing that? I think so. Do you think you'll be able to hang up the, uh... I don't know, the robe and boxing glove? The, the I'd box. like to have children someday. You would? Yes, I would. Anna? Um, I'm a hairdresser at heart. I want to I wanna have my own salon and work for myself. I saved a lot of money doing this show. And uh, my boyfriend, he's Tony, he's a construction worker, and he likes my job. <laughs> okay, let me, I'm going to wrestle with the naughty nurse here. Yeah, but, but, yeah, okay, take it off. 
Yeah. I mean, just a microphone. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> now, uh, all right, so what's, you know, how, you know, what's the point here? I mean, what do I do? I, I used to be a wrestler in high school and college. Should I use those kinds of moves? You can get as aggressive as you want to. And, uh, you know, you don't want to stand up and because they'll flip you around and stuff. But <laughs> just have fun. That's, you know, what, what you're going to do it for. That's what the people in the club do it, to have fun. And um, some personal advice for you is to start praying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Beaten by the Banshee. Now the naughty nurse. That's a piece of problem. Okay, here we go. Dennis, take it. All right, here we got the naughty nurse versus the hit man. Are you ready, audience? All right. It's like walking in a mud puddle on a rainy day. I feel like I'm down on the farm. All right, here we go, guys. I think the nurse is ready. Geraldo certainly My seems like he's ready. My wife's going to heal me if I take any offensive moves. Yeah. So We're going to give you one, one good one-minute round here. One minute round. Okay. One minute round. Here we go. Make All it right. 30 seconds. All right, make it 30 seconds. All right, here we go. On your knees. Start out on your knees. On your knees. Three, two, one. And they're wrestling. Here they go. Here they go. All right, look at them go. Look at them go. Right from the very beginning, it looks like the nurse is Geraldo. All right, he's covered in mud. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, she's being very aggressive. She is aggressive. See, he's down again. He can't seem to catch his breath. Too much laughter has overcome him. This is no way to win a fight, ladies and gentlemen. He better get serious or he's going to get it. Down he goes again. Three, two, one. feel so squishy. <laughs> is it always so squishy? Well, this is the first time I mud wrestled. I, we at Pure Platinum usually oil wrestle. So I've heard that we're going to transfer over to the mud. And it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit more messy, but... Aesthetically, which do you prefer? The oil. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I, there you'd feel like you're about to be fried. I mean, here you feel like someone should bury you. I mean, it's just like, uh, well, was that a kind of a typical match there? Or? It's very difficult. You know, I wasn't quite sure. No, there's... You know, I <laughs> had a flip Most and... Most of the times, the people that come into the club have seen the act before, and they bring in friends, and um, they watch it two or three times, and then they get enough guts to come in and fight with us. And how much do they pay you for the, you know, the opportunity of going in with you? Well, it depends on the night and how many people are in the club. Typically? On average, I would say 250 for a match, and that's three rounds. $2.50? $250. Aha! Ah, the plot thickens, so to speak. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciated the lesson. Thank you all, ladies, and best Thank of luck to you. We appreciate it. Services have been furnished to the Geraldo Show in exchange for these announcements. Hotel accommodations in New York City provided by the Omni Park Central in Mid-Manhattan near Carnegie Hall, Central Park, and Broadway Theaters. Call 800 the omni or 212-484-3300. Here they are! I'm Craig Maurer. Next on the 5 o'clock report, both Bush and Dukakis are saying ignore the polls. They're calling on their campaign workers to go full speed ahead until Election Day. We'll have the latest from Campaign 88 plus much more coming up next. Stay with us.